Hello everybody and welcome to another fly tying video produced by the folks at alaskaflyfish.net. I'm Flashback Max and today we're going to tie, well, I don't know if this is exactly what uh, everybody's hungry for, but I, 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 I've used it before and it's great. I don't really have a name for it, it's just big, black, and ugly. So I call it the big, black, and ugly, kind of like one of my old prom dates. Anyway, just uh, go over here. Real simple. Um, get your first hook here. I didn't cut this one off. You got to cut. You know, can't have two hooks, so you got to cut this off. I just had this in the vise just to try to kind of show you here. But uh, you got to kind of. I tied it on a salmon hook on the front, but you can use any sturdy hook. Um, got some nice big dumbbell eyes. Kind of, you know, a little egg sort of imitation thing. I put some, you know, big saddle hackle on here just for the heck of it. Uh, rabbit, obviously. Here's some flash on the back. Get it noticed. Back here you have a massive, I think it's a three-odd or something like that, mosquito hook. Something like that. Just a nice, big, strong hook because you fish with something like this, you're probably going to catch something uh, fairly decent size. Either that or scare everything else away. But, uh, We'll go over the steps here. Let me take that thing out. We stick our little hook in here like so. We use black thread, obviously. I mean, you can use whatever color you like if you want to match it to the egg or whatever. If I bump the camera, I'm really sorry because this it's because it's so big. I got to have it pulled back a long ways and. I'm kind of, you know, tying at arm's length here, so we'll stick the dumbbell on here first. Just go around a few times. A few times, figure eight. Go underneath. You can hit it with glue if you want. This is just a demonstration, so I'm really not going not gonna to worry about it. Okay, how do we get that hook? in the back attached to the hook in the front. Well, there's a lot of different kinds of, you know, systems, I guess you'd call it. This one we're going to do, well, it's, it's really kind of easy. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of doubled over, uh, this 30 pound Dacron backing, and I'm so anal I colored it black. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it makes a difference, but just Kind of visualize how big you want it. I mean, it doesn't have to be, you know, massively huge or anything. Just think about how big you want it. I think mine's gonna be about like that. Cut that off. What you want to do is you want to start a little ways back from the eye and tie in the two loose ends. You're gonna go over, go over, go over. I cut this one a little short, I'll be honest with you. If you could, you know, take it and you had a little bit more length and you had like a tag sticking out here, you could fold that over and tie it under and it'd make a lot of make a lot of sense. You can hit this with super glue or or zap a gap or whatever. Probably doesn't matter. If you see the black on my hand see it's from that. Alright, let's see here. Let's see how we can do this. Grab some rabbit strip. Gonna visualize here and see how about about how big it is. Remember that hook's gonna be back here, so you want the the hide to be back far enough so you can attach it to it. Stick that in there. Sometimes this isn't real cooperative. Just you know, a little saliva or something on your finger and pull it forward and usually it'll stay good. You know, two, three, four times. It's all right, wrap it up. Get a little bit. Something else, when you're wrapping rabbit strip, pull down on it. When you wrap and brush it back, pull down. That makes it nice and tight. Fluff it up, hold it back. Pull it down, pull it down, I'm going to stop right there. Cl 
clip this guy off like so All right. a few more times now like I said I got these this big I don't know it's from one of my chickens I have a plethora of these things and you know they just sit around so I figure I might as well use them so I'm just gonna go around a few times actually what I like about these is it kinda it keeps all that all that rabbit fur back see how they kinda flump over the over the back I mean you don't have to do this step but I like it because it almost gives it like a I don't know almost a tentacle like appearance and just one more thing No, and this, something I do is I take a toothbrush or something and go through and separate all the little, all the hackle off and into its own little things. All right, now we're going to stick the egg on. I'm just using pink Easter grass dubbing I found this past spring that was, I don't know, I think it was marked out of 10 cents or something. It dubs like a dream. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I think that's half of the thing. If they put fly tying on it, it's automatically worth 200% more than what they would normally charge for something. Oh, well. I'll get off my soapbox. Round, round. There we go. Hey, what was that pink feather? Around a few times. Alrighty. Well, that wasn't real hard. Now what we have to do is attach this other hook. So, what I've done is, can you see that black on there? I went around and tied some, uh, just some thread on it, so we could nice and easily get that to to stick with some super glue. What you got to do is you got to get that down to the size of the eye not always easy come on sweetie excuse me I gotta get that in there it's like threading a needle even with these big hooks alright all you're gonna do is just shove that through there tie like a oh, square knot or something I don't even know what it's called and I went to Boy Scouts. <laughs> but all you're doing is just taking it around the front there like that. There you go. Stick that bad boy back in a vise. Just kind of measure, see where that's going to be. Get out our good friend super glue. Get it all over your fingers. Glue your hands together never happened to me never <laughs> actually it happens all the time so there we go you can fiddle around with that and get it to stick real good but you get the idea so put that baby in the water I bet you'll uh, I bet you'll hear people yell and see monster when they see what you catch. So, anyway, if you have something you'd like to see, uh, shoot me a message or an email and I'll see if I can get it for you.